Hey guys, welcome back to another video today. Um, I didn't change my skin back. I will be doing it soon. I just forgot to. But <laughs> let's uh, let's go on. So here's some building tips. So um, yeah, the first thing uh, is dragon heads because some people, you know don't really pay attention to the dragon head block but it's pretty useful for some things here's one that i found a couple days ago if uh you use this you can make you know the hungry hungry caterpillar just like this and it kind of looks like the hungry hungry caterpillar i don't know but uh you can fix the face here a little bit with armor stands but we're not going to be doing that today so the next thing that I also found out, it's a really cool trick. So choose whatever block is affected by gra uh, gravity. For example, sand or gravel or concrete. Um, I'm going to use red sand for now. So just put some fences or a fence somewhere and then just put a wall here. And you want it to fall onto the fences just like this and then you can destroy this block. So once they fall onto the fences, as you can see, you can walk through the block. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so yeah, and then you can, you know, just hide this a little bit and you have kind of like a quicksand thing. So if you wanted to make some, you know, like sticky quicksand, uh, you can do this. Also, I've seen with these fences and stuff like gravel, you can make a vent system that you can crawl through, which I think is pretty cool. So you can put some walls over this and it'll make it look like you're crawling through a vent system, which I thought looks pretty cool. And you can't destroy the blocks like this. You have to wait for it to fall. So let's go on to the next one. Alrighty, so the next one is mm, kind of cool. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab a beacon here and you're going to grab a sticky piston and some glass pane of any color or you can have a glass block here. Let's just use gl glass block. Any... Um, sort of transparent block like glass or glass paint. So I'm going to use, for example, blue. And I'm also going to get some redstone here. So uh, let's make a redstone clock. So the redstone clock evolves um, this facing this way and another one facing this way. So we're going to put some redstone like this and you will also need a redstone torch here. So once you have it looking like this, one going one way and the other going the other way. So it repeats all around. You're going to put a redstone torch down and destroy it really quick, watch this. Just like that. And then it will create this redstone clock. So what you can do now is just attach this to a piston. So all you have to do is just to do that. And as you can see, it goes crazy. So, I'm just going to put some blue glass pane here. And there we go. We will drag them back and forth really quickly. All you need is a beacon here. And you're going to activate it using some diamond blocks or whatever. I'm going to use diamond blocks. I'm going to activate it. And then... As you can see, it'll do a flashing beacon, which some people haven't noticed for some reason. And you can cover this up and, you know, kind of like you can use this for map making or something to make the player go in one direction. So follow the flashing beacon or something like that. But we have one more trick. And this involves double high plants. For example, this, 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 this. So all these blocks, or flowers here, 
or what you're going to need. One of these are absolutely fine. I'm just going to use double tall grass. So what you're gonna do, I'm in a sandy area, so I'm just going to put a piece of grass down. And you wanna put the double tall grass or whatever is the double plant here. And gravel here will set right on top of it. So let's put this on top. Oh geez, it will not work. Here. Just there, there we go. Okay, so once you have it on top, don't break the this top block here. As you can see, there's two little selection areas that you can pick. You're gonna pick the bottom one. And as you can see, you have some floating gravel. Now what this can be used for is you can put a pressure plate of some kind or a chest near it. So if you have, you know, like a player standing on this and you open the chest or something or update the block, if you open it, this will drop. But this was a trap chest, so I guess update the block and it will fall. So that is also a really cool trick. And that finishes it is off. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. That finishes it off for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below on what you want to see next, and I'll see you next time. Bye.